Doc. Thanks for seeing me again. Uh, today, I have, I'm going to talk about. I have, I have four individual notes that I'm going to reference and be talking about. Um, I think the first one I want to do is that. Uh, so whenever I go to the grocery store, typically, I buy alcohol because. It's partly because I feel like I deserve alcohol for having gone in a grocery store. I don't like being in grocery stores. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of bright colors that are screaming at me, and it's overwhelming, and it's anxiety-producing, and, you know, there's always people, and they look at me, and it's, it's not pleasant. Um, so I bought, I bought alcohol. This is a uh, Drac 7. It's very good. Um, I really shouldn't drink it all, but uh, I do because I have an addictive personality. I'm an alcoholic. Um, but I feel like if I limit myself to just one of these 22 ounce bottles of beer occasionally, that's probably not going to destroy my life. It might, but I don't, you know, that's. That's currently the gamble I'm taking. It's only it's only one large bottle. I, I don't think that's that's that bad. Although now I'm hearing myself defend it, and uh, it does make it sound like it's a problem. Um, so yeah, I went to the grocery store, um, and when I was there, you know, so standing in line, waiting to check out. Clearly this is not therapy I pay for, I would not spend time on this, but I would, I was staying in line, uh, waiting, and this woman looked at me two, three, two or three times, maybe four times, but it was, it was a sort of look that made it seem like she was interested in me to some extent. It's not necessarily like a sexy look. It's just like she looked at me too many times for it to be a coincidence. Um, so maybe she would have liked to talk to me or have gotten coffee sometime. I, I don't know, but I don't really like when when women do that because like, what am I supposed to do with that? Am I, am I supposed to go over and, and then talk to her and be like, Hi, uh, you looked at me a few times, therefore, let's go out. That is, I don't know, is that what that means? It's, it's, that seems, doesn't, that, that's, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, I, oh, someone looked at me two or three times. That means they want to have a conversation. I don't know. I wish that she would have just started a conversation with me, but, uh, you know, we can't all be non-binary and live outside the confines of our, uh, socialized roles. Um, you know, it's, maybe it's just nice to have someone start a conversation with you. That's what I want, though. I want, I want her to start a conversation with me. Um, but it, it did... That, that encounter did make me feel like I was attractive. And I think I am attractive. I mean, I'm, I'm tall, I'm 6'4", and that's, height is a quality that it seems like a lot of women are attracted to. Um, some men are attracted to, I'm attracted to height for sure. Not sure where I was going with that. Uh, uh, attractiveness and uh, I suppose I'm handsome sometimes I feel that way um, but I, you know I, I guess it was nice to be to be noticed and, and be looked at even though I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that attention like to 
does this random woman at Save Mart think that if she looks at me, I will talk to her? It's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's so subtle that my autisticness, uh, not that I've been officially diagnosed, but it's confusing. Like, these are such subtle little cues that I'm, I'm like, well, how do I know that's what that means? Uh, just go for it, Charlie. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm probably wrong, though. It's, it's just like, what's with that dude's hair? Uh, I don't know. It's not, uh, it's not something I'll, I'm going to be able to figure out right now. Good thing I'm drinking. That'll ease the pain. I'm getting much better lately at uh, getting out of bed quickly. That might seem like not a major accomplishment, but these days when I wake up, I'm like, I'm, get, I'm getting up, I'm tur turning off my alarm, and I'm logging my dream journal. I had some weird dreams last night. And I'm getting out of bed and getting my day started. It's, it's been nice. Uh, it's, it's, it, in the past, I have had a hard time getting out of bed. I'll just, I'll have the snooze, or I'll just lay there and, and just be like, oh god another day uh, like in the past my motivation for getting out of bed has been like tobacco like I wake up and I'll think oh I get to smoke yes that's nice uh, whereas now it's more like uh, like I'm looking forward to taking a walk in the morning although my morning walk today not great did not did not enjoy it very much it was kind of depressing which I think was because it was a slightly too urban walk. I prefer taking nature walks, and I walked a certain way this morning where I didn't get as much nature as I would have liked, and I think that kind of depressed me. Seeing the homeless camps did not depress me, but they are kind of inherently depressing. been procrastinating on a literature review that I should have been working on for several days, if not weeks now. Uh, I know I'm going to do a literature review on Emily Dickinson. Uh, I, want, I want to look at sources that are psychologically analyzing her poetry, maybe her letters. And I've done a little bit of that research, but I need to do a lot more because it's due in four days and I've barely started. So that's not great. But I will do more. I'm gonna do some some reading homework when I'm done with this session, and then I'll do some more research, and then I will feel much better because I will have worked. And the only other thing I wanted to talk about, and it's not that important was that I I didn't sleep well last night and yet I remembered my dreams which seems like that wouldn't go together but it did in this case uh, I went to I tried to go to bed at like 6 or 7 p.m. like before the sun set which is a bad idea and I, I ended up just like laying there and I did fall asleep, but then I woke up like three or four times and had to go back to sleep and it's just 
bed. Like, uh, I tried to go to bed too early, which is something I do sometimes, and I shouldn't because it doesn't work well. It, it ends up with me having poor sleep and waking up a bunch and having to go back to sleep. What I should have done is just, like, maybe, maybe just lay down for a little bit because I did feel tired, but it was still too early. Like, I, I didn't even take any melatonin. How am I going to sleep during the day? That doesn't, that doesn't work. Uh, I should have just, just laid down for a little bit and then done some more, uh, I could have done some writing. I could have done some submitting. I could have worked on the getting my my old poems into uh, a more final state and I didn't I just you know I took my mirtazapine and my mirtazapine and I just tried to go to sleep and that uh, didn't, didn't work super well I think that's everything so um thanks for seeing me and uh i'll see you again next time probably tomorrow maybe because these are surprisingly enjoyable to make uh so um yeah bye doctor